With me now to talk more about the issue of Arakat being treated at a Jerusalem hospital, David Ha'ivri, who is a Shomron councilman, and in studio with me, Yariv Oppenheimer, the project director of the two-state coalition. Thank you both for being with me. Uh, David, I'll start with you. Your thoughts in general on Israel accepting Erekat into Hadassah Hospital in Jerusalem without there being an, uh, a request even from the Palestinians to offer some kind of gesture in return. My, my biggest issue with the, this whole event is that the Palestinian Authority don't really deserve this assistance. I mean, the leaders of the Palestinian Authority who have mismanaged their government, the funding that they have received over 30 years, they could have used the international funding to establish hospitals to provide welfare for their people. But instead of that, they've embezzled the money. They've been funding terrorism. So I think that those leaders of the PLO do not deserve this VIP status, surely not for medical assistance. I don't mind Israel assisting Palestinian people with the, the technology and medical uh, abilities of Israel. But the leadership itself of the PLO don't really deserve this special treatment. Okay, your, your response to that. Yeah, the basic thing that the state has to do is to help a, a person that is in need and to save his life. This is the most moral thing that a, a state and a person should do without asking any question. So for I, me, I totally it's agree. obvious that, that, that this is, is what we... There are so many people in Israel and in the Palestinian Authority who do not have the VIP status uh, of the PLO. There, there are and many... Just a second, are, just a second. Are, are David, needing David, help. They're not being helped. D David, this one individual you, you have to, who no, opposes David, normalization with Israel. Please let me finish. He's one of the biggest speakers the, against normalization with Israel. But when this man is sick, all of a sudden, a opposing normalization is thrown aside. No, no, no. And we need to open the gates of all, and it's allow not, this insider it's, it's, and save his life. David, it's not I about... It's, it's, it's not cyber, Ikat. It's, first of all, the moral values of the state of Israel. And you have some... No, I agree no. with you totally. Uh, David, let me finish, please. And without getting into the question who is Sai Barikat, first of all, we need to open the border and to bring the people here. Second, when you look we at Sai Barikat, David, enough. David, enough. The, the, David, enough. It, the reason that David, there is enough, a I cannot, I cannot a finish a sentence. Enough. The PLO David, you are violent. This is violence. Right, David, with all, due, with all due respect, we, I cannot continue. Pay for second, play. when you look who, second, and for that reason, we have uh, a Jeff, security barrier that does not allow the respect. Palestinians to well, enter on, Israeli one second. hospitals. All right, David, we need to let Yariv uh, get his opinion expressed here as well. Just hang on one second Please, for me, David. Yariv, go ahead. Sai Barikat is one of the leaders in the Palestinian side that was never accused of on any violent attempt against Israel, first. Second, I, I when he when he is being, when he is speaking, no, enough, enough. You are violent, David. You are violent because you are not letting I me speak. Violent? Yeah, because you are I not letting me speak. No please, barrier. please no respect terrorist. me. Please respect me, and you can react after. Second, please go ahead. Uh, cyber uh, he is speaking out loud against violence, against terror, in favor of negotiation and in favor of the two-state solution. David Ivry is ready to speak about a Palestinian state? I doubt it. But Sai Barikat is speaking I out loud state, in favor of a Palestinian state aid. next to Israel. Third, um, we are not in a balanced situation. We are not making a favor to the Palestinians. We are responsible to what is going on in the West Bank. If you want the Palestinians to have their own system, health system, give them a state with their own economy, and then they can have it. But when you control the but, but it's but, but when you occupy the Palestinians, you are not letting them have in a state. You have responsibility over well, the people the living the there, including for, for their health. Hey, let me so jump you're in not making the any money. favor. Well, I'm going to jump in here. I asked something, uh, Yuri, and this is something David mentioned at the beginning here, that Sarib Arakat, he's uh, uh, one of the most powerful and important uh, committee members of the executive, he's, ex he's the executive committee secretary general, in fact. He's a very prominent Palestinian leader. Just weeks ago, the PLO denied the Palestinian people from getting medical equipment that the UAE delivered. The UAE was sending medical gear, medical equipment, but the plane landed at Tel Aviv, it landed at Ben-Gurion, the Palestinian Authority refused to let this medical, life-saving equipment enter the Palestinian territories. The people couldn't get it. 
Now, Eriket gets coronavirus. Weeks later, he is allowed to go into Israel, to Hadassah, and get VIP treatment using really rare and expensive machines. It's not equitable. I think it was a mistake by the Palestinian Authority to say that they are not ready to get the assistance. That's Eriket's that mistake. He is the, this is the PLO denying. Eriket is not, you know, he's not the leader. He's not the but number. You see my point but here. I see your point, but in the, uh, the Palestinians are in a lose-lose situation because just a second. David, 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 David the the Palestinians, the, Palestinians, the Palestinians are in lose-lose situation because when they are normalization with Israel, they are getting nothing. So what they have to do, in, if they don't want to act Entering with terror, in, in order, to, in order to gain the right to have their own state. But, but if you look at the reality, Jeff, and if you will go to the hospitals, you will see all the time Palestinians there, not just because of coronavirus, but, but also because of cancer and other things. The cooperation between the people, the Israeli system and the Palestinian and people continue all the time. And let's be honest with ourselves, Israel is using these benefits in order to get information from Palestinians, in order to ask them some questions about security. It's not a, just, you know, what we see as a humanitarian thing. Okay, we have I'm... our own interest, and we are using it while using the need of the Palestinians to get health care. Uh, David, your, your response to perhaps this being a political and publicity opportunity for Israel and the argument that it's silly, it's just silly to ask Erekat uh, or the PLO to extract any kind of concession from Hamas, which runs Gaza. Have you asked a question? The question is, the, the main problem is the PLO. Before we start speaking about putting pressure on the Hamas, the PLO itself should stop its, uh, its uh, opposition to normalization with Israel. It's hypocritical. For the leaders of the PLO and Saib Arikat himself to be so uh, opposed to normalization, but as soon as he doesn't feel well, then oh, put normalization David, aside, save my life. David, but what about all of the billions of Palestinians? Saib Arikat doesn't have a hospital, a decent hospital, because of you. Saib Arikat doesn't have a health system, a normal one, because of you, because he doesn't have a no, state. No, he doesn't have a normal Allow health him system. Allow to have his own state. The money Believe me, he corrupt. will never ask you any favor anymore. But you cannot control and occupy the West Bank and not be responsible to the health of the people living there. Decide Israel if has it's Israel. The it's our responsibility if it's not Israel, international so aid for three state. decades and they have not built modern medicine facilities because they have embezzled the money uh, well, and I jump here. Let's... is part of that infrastructure of thieves uh, we're going to listen to a soundbite aid. for our audience you may not be familiar a little bit with uh, Sayyib Arakat let's play a soundbite from a few years ago of Sayyib Arakat back from 2016 uh, here is uh, Mr. Arakat Sabah the PLO Executive Committee affirms that the essence of the conflict is the Israeli occupation, its crimes and constant aggressions, and the fact that for Israel, any attempt to equate the situations of the occupying power and of the Palestinian people under occupation is considered morally corrupt and a flagrant bias in favor of the occupation. Uh, we, we hear Erica there talking about uh, the, how it's morally corrupt. Uh, the uh, immorality of, of the occupation of the Israeli enterprise. So why would Arakat and, and the PLO let him go to Jerusalem? He himself and the PLO, they're not, they support a boycott. They don't want the aid, uh, medical equipment, international medical because, equipment to go to the Palestinian because people. Because when but we are talking about life and death, and he was... He's not the only one suffering no, from coronavirus and I dying Believe me it. that I think that the policy, I don't know what the policy of the Palestinians, I'm an Israeli. The policy of Israel should be that we are open our door to anyone that needs help in order to save his life. If he's a criminal or a terrorist, then you can judge him. And if he is not, of course, you, you should not, but you should open the door and you should save life. This is the moral thing. It's basic. Okay. I'm still amazed that we are making a discussion about that. But when you Yadid, look I into no cyber attack legacy, just a second. Aid Good. When Israel is able Good. to provide Good. And, and, aid. And, and, and si we, are not, like we are not punishing. Ah, okay. Should not be the first and, on the list. And I'm telling you about cyber attack. The cyber is an example like to a moderate aid. Palestinian leader that is looking 
looking at this conflict in a political view and he thinks that we can have a political solution living side by side. If we are uh, treating cyber cut like he is Hamas or even worse than Hamas, no, so for us, all the Palestinians are bad, all the Palestinians are Israelis. This is, this is not realistic and this is not the way to achieve the solution. David, let me ask you, let me ask you a question, uh, David. I mean, you mentioned that you don't, in principle, oppose Erekat being treated in Jerusalem at, at Hadassah, but he should be last on the list, not first. That, but he isn't. He's there now. That's the reality. And he, he was he requested from Israel the uh, paramedics and the security detail went to Jericho and brought him there. He got special permission. Are you saying that that should not have happened? Israel should have said no. I am saying that there are many people in Israel and in the Palestinian Authority who are not leaders of the movement of anti-normalization, who are not inspiring thugs to and they are not getting any treatment. visitors to the Temple being, Mount because they are, of normalization. And they are being so denied the health treatment? He this is wrong. Help. Israel should... Uh, we, in the medical system, mm -hmm. there, are list, there are waiting lists of people who are of waiting. Of people that has corona and they are dying and they need assistance? This is a lie. And one you know that you are now lying. There is not even one Israeli that needs a bed that doesn't get it right now because he has corona and he needs to. we need to save his life. This is a lie. Is there one so don't, please don't lie. Yariv, excuse me, is there one Palestinian who is not a political figure who is waiting and would, would rather... Uh, be first on that list. If he will, call, if he will call the Israeli side, was not a politician. If he will was not call, if, out against if, normalization. If, if he will call to the Israeli side, so he should get yes. treatment from Israel. You and I, before we are not I, I David. No, I don't know. Before it's, it depends on his health I, condition. No, it's not about no. It's not about, about his. No, you VIP see, you are not moral. He's a PLO you are not moral. He's outspoken you against normalization. Are, you would like to punish people who are you, not outspoken against normalization David, and are dying. You are not moral because you want to give priority to people, not according to no, their health situation, you are favoring, but according to their views. And this is not this a moral is, thing to do. You are favoring a PLO leader over normal, regular Palestinian oh, I, need to, I need to jump in here because we're out of time in this segment. I appreciate the debate. This is a topic that is front and center in Israeli discourse right now, the treatment of Saeed Erdekat in Jerusalem uh, and his current status. I appreciate the, this discussion, uh, David and Yariv. Gentlemen, both of you, thank you so much for taking part of it and expressing your views. Great to have you both on the program.